So far in the sprinkler exercises, we've been working in one of the coordinated layouts, which has a ceiling plan attached. Now we're ready to start working on the pipe layout. It's not really necessary. So from your project browser, scroll down and open up Level 3 Fire Protection Piping Plan and scroll into the south part of the building. I'm now ready to start laying out my pipes. Let's start with the corridor. I'll select one of the sprinkler heads and in this option I'm going to use the Generate Placeholder tool to create placeholder pipes. This now gives me some solutions. Let's take a look at the options we've been given. Let's also check the settings for the actual pipes. And here I find that we may already have some problems. There's my main run at 2700. Let's push this up to 3 meters and do the same for the branch. Click on OK and finish layout. I'll run through the same process for the sprinkler heads in the office. Select one of the sprinkler heads and this time we'll use the generate layout option and cycle through some of the options we've been given. Let's check the settings on this and here we can see we've got the pipework to be offset at 3 meters but none of the options are really doing it for me. That's kind of looking okay. So I could go with this, or I could just ditch it and do my own layout. But I'll settle with this one and click on Finish Layout. I now have two layouts that I can check in my 3D plumbing view. Let's remove the section box. And just so we can see them a bit better, let's hide the architectural file and scroll in to see our sprinklers. Even though I can already see a coordination issue, my placeholder pipe is running straight through the middle of my fan core unit, I'm reasonably happy with this design outcome. Although if I want to be really diligent, I will change the offset of my placeholder so that it runs underneath the fan core unit. 